Hey guys, it's Stephanie Johnston over at the Johnston team of Service First Mortgage and gonna share some good news with you today about condo financing and FHA loans and the ability to do those again, which is exciting. So for about 10 years, we have seen very little FHA condo loans um, closed and kind of some main reasons that, that that has been the case. So when we do a condo loan, the, the actual difference in that in a normal financing is when we're looking as a lender to lend in a complex, when you're in a condo, you're very tied to your neighbors, meaning that your HOAs, you, you share insurance for things. Um, you own the walls in and the collectively own the complex together. So we need to make sure that the condo that you are lending or we're lending in and you're buying in are stable. So there is a rationale between the crazy process of what we call a condo approval in the back end, and that's kind of why. So on a conventional loan, um, which is a lot of um, FA or a lot of buyers have done in the last bit, we could do if it was on the approved list, we could go forward, or if it was not, we could do a one-off approval on a specific unit, which would be most all the time of what we did. So we would gather information, or we still do this, gather information about the condo and the the specific unit, and make sure it's stable and meet all our requirements, and we go forward. Well, FHA, as of from, I think about a decade ago, up until October 15th of this coming year of 2019, this is about to happen, we you had to be on a list or you couldn't do FHA financing. So you were on it, go forward, great. And if you weren't, you just there was no option. No FHA loans, period, end of story. That's actually changing with what's called an FHA spot approval. And that's gonna mean that we're gonna be able to do a very similar process to what we do on conventional financing, where we can get a condo questionnaire and some information from the HOA and their insurance. And we can make sure, is this condo complex, does this meet guides and can we close this one unit? That is a much easier process for everyone involved of doing it one time versus the improving entire complex is actually quite time consuming for the HOAs and um, costly and a lot of them don't wanna do it. And that's why actually currently, I think it's only about 6.5% of condo complexes in the entire United States are FHA approved. That is a very low percentage. So if, if a home buyer could only get FHA financing, or maybe that's just the lowest payment or the best loan for them for whatever reason, they couldn't buy the property that they may have wanted because it's not FHA approved. So again, as of October 15th of 2019, that is changing. We are super excited about it. And we're hoping this change is going to allow, you know, some great opportunities for some additional um, condo financed units and some buyers be able to look at some properties that maybe they didn't otherwise um, think that they could purchase. So I hope you find this information helpful. If you've got someone in this situation or you are, uh, we do condo loans all the time. Very happy to guide you through what the best loan product is for you and how to make a specific condo loan work. Um, and more to come as far as um, some specifics on this. But again, great news for FHA loans and condos. Hope you found this information helpful. Again, it's Stephanie Johnston over at the Johnston team of Service First Mortgage.